Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome you all to the GDC YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a major important test for the alcohol that is known as Victor Mayer test. Victor Mayer test is mainly used for the identifications of the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. By the series of chemical analysis, we find out the different color on the observation that will differentiate the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So how it happens and what are the different steps involved in the this process, let's discuss this. So firstly, what happened? This test is used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. In this test, the following test steps are involved. So what are the steps? Mainly three steps involved. Firstly, alcohol is reacted with concentrated hydrogen iodide or red phosphorus and iodine means in the combination either we used HI or red phosphorus and iodine which form the corresponding alkyl iodide. Now this alkyl iodide is treated with silver nitrite when corresponding nitroalkane is formed means in the first step when alcohol reacted with the red phosphorus and iodine forms the alkyl iodide now this alkyl iodide reacted with the silver nitrite which forms nitroalkane now this nitroalkane is treated with the nitrous acid means combinations of the NaNO2 plus H2SO4 and the solution is made alkaline by addition of excess of caustic soda means when we perform these three steps then what happen in the color what color observed on that basis we can differentiate the primary secondary and tertiary alcohols so how it happens let's discuss firstly reagent used either phosphorus with iodine second AZNO2 next HNO2 and lastly we make the solutions alkaline with the caustic soda means NaOH if the alcohol is primary alcohol then red color will be observed and mainly blood red color while if the secondary alcohol is there then blue color will be observed and if the alcohol is tertiary alcohol then it does not give the Victor Mayer test so these color identification is for the mainly distinguishing between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So let's discuss firstly primary alcohols. This is our primary alcohols RCS2OH. Now this RCS2OH firstly react with phosphorus and iodine. On this reactions we form the alkyl iodide. Now this alkyl iodide again reacted with the silver nitride. This silver nitride forms the alkyl nitroalkane. This nitroalkane when reacted with the HNO2 now form the nitrolic acid. This nitrolic acid when reacted with the caustic soda NaOH then blood red color observed. So this is the primary alcohols identifications means primary alcohols form the blood red color. Primary are blood red red are means we can make a trick on your our mind primary have the R and red have the R means primary form the red color. Now let's discuss the secondary alcohols. Secondary alcohols, this is our secondary alcohols R2CHOH. This secondary alcohol reacted with the phosphorus and iodine. On reactions we form the alkyl iodide. This alkyl iodide reacted with the silver nitrate. This silver nitrate forms the alkyl nitrate. This nitroalkane reacted with the HNO2 forms the pseudonitrol. This pseudonitrol reacted with the caustic soda NaOH gives the blue color. For secondary, it's blue. Now, take the third tertiary alcohol. This is our tertiary alcohol. This tertiary alcohol, when reacted with the phosphorus and iodine, it's formed the uh, same alkyl iodide. Now, this alkyl iodide reacted with the AZNO2 on reactions it formed the nitroalkane now this nitroalkane with when reacted with the HNO2 then no reactions will be formed 
means no any color will be observed so these are the three major identifications color for the differentiation between primary secondary and tertiary alcohol i hope so you will like it thank you so much